hidden in closed toe shoes, your feet will be screaming for a summer overhaul. And the best part is, with the right tools, you can take care of it yourself. Dr. Suzanne Levine is a board certified Pa pa podiatric. That's a hard thing to say. Podiatric. What? Was that the way? Podiatric. Podiatric. Whatever. That's what we said. Whatever. She does feet. <laughs> Surgeon for the Institute Boutte. And Suzanne, well, I should know because I had both my feet That's operated right. That's on. That's right. So um, you're a podiatrist who does surgery. Yes, How's that? Podiatrist oh, that does surgery. Well, I think people love home remedies, especially when you're talking about calluses on your feet mm -hmm. and you don't want to go get the real pedicure. What can you do? No question about it. Um, you can use a half a cup of kosher salt with some rosemary, make it into a paste, rub it on your foot, and then use that instead of going out and buying a product, it's very simple. It's an exfoliant, and it's then you exfoliant. can use a, a pumice. What, what does, what does or, the rosemary do? What's the point of that? What it does is dry. It's a drying oh, agent, it's a drying and it agent. makes your feet smell so much better. So just with your hand, that's yes, all? And, just oh. you can and then use your pumice. pumice or you use now, these are some products that contain urea in it, and you can see one of them is Revitaderm. It's a fabulous product, and they're out there. But you can use any product. So use this instead of that? Instead of that, if you okay, don't so have so time. If you, okay. can't, if you make now, that or do this. If you have blisters, which I get from running and just different stuff, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, uh, a blisters can be so painful that you have to take your shoe off. Now, this is aloe. It's a fabulous aloe plant. Aloe is like a, a, yeah. a, a aloe just every miracle every plant. Right. And what you want to do also is mix it with a vitamin E capsule. And it's good to also use an antiperspirant to cut down on the perspiration. What? You can use on your what? deodorant. Just on your spray feet? it onto your feet. But when you're blistered, but you shouldn't pop it first of no, all. No, don't leave pop it alone. the blister. Leave it alone. And if, if all end, you can use the uh, band aid that's a blister kit and just put that so on top of the blister. So I have a question. You, when do you put deodorant on your feet? You mm -hmm. want to dry your feet, especially in the summertime before if your feet you are very moist. So you every put day you put them on? Put, yes, you can actually spray your feet. How do you like that? I, I, I never thought okay, that's it, but it makes sense. It totally okay, makes sense. In gyms, no. athlete's no. foot can be oh. an issue. Would you say always wear shoes in a gym? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And athlete's foot, you know you get the peeling and it itches I never had it, so and it scratches. Know. We wouldn't okay. know, Dr. Levine, but we <laughs> we'll take your word for it. What you it. definitely want to do is use the apple cider vinegar. You want to spray that on. It's just soothing. And you can use a little aloe on that as well. But you know what? Using the antiperspirant. Yes. You want to dry your foot. That's most important. Important. Okay, does it have to be an aerosol or can you just shellac you on some solid? Deodorant? You're going to do a solid know. on your as feet long, it, as, long it as, as long as it's a, <laughs> right, it's a drying you agent. You think you know a person. That's a, <laughs> as long as, Dr. As, Levine says, I'm right again. <laughs> as long as it's a drying agent. Okay, right. you want to keep the feet this, dry. and you This is avoid. Kathy's wheelhouse. This is okay. the bunion Kathy, area, which is for you. <laughs> well, it's, I, it's too late for me now because okay. mine were so bad I had to have them but surgically you know what? removed. This is, this is amazing. You can soak your foot in lukewarm water and Epsom salts. And here's the kicker. You can use preparation H to get rid of the swelling. You know that I have that bunion really But bunion uh, Yes, are, but you cannot move. That's not no, going to do anything to the bone. The bone. That's just the swelling around it, right? What about if you use the mineral powder? This is like a Narrow makeup that actually uh, camouflages the bunion. Do you know when you have the bunion and you're trying you're to stop seeing it? You're, you're talking about right. the look of it. And the look of so it. first get the swelling down and then use that yes, stuff the to, mineral to, to, makeup. Okay. Any mineral makeup. Just powder it on and you can camouflage your foot so it looks much better. Depends on how big your bunion is. Okay, Mine that's true. But it can code. minimize it. It can really minimize okay. it. It'll okay. look much better. All right. So we, okay. What's and this thing? We already did this. These are actually antifungal agents that you can go out and buy. And this is by Blaine Labs. It's great. It's a two. You can spray the shoe. Are we going to? And also, let's, let's go yes. over here. Let's go here. Let's and go. This is actually to reduce swelling. Oh, good. And we're in to, heels all day. Okay, right. And we, and to, we were here early today. And so to pamper your feet. Okay. Now, ladies, especially you wear heels, you instead of drinking the chamomile tea, you put the chamomile tea bags in oh, the water, in your water and soak it. What's in right. mine? Uh, Epsom salts I get so and lavender. Oh, that's, now, I, oh, put them in here. Come on. In. Come on. Oh, oh, go oh, ahead. Oh, that feels so good, though. Okay. Oh. And you have to leave it in for about 20 minutes. And what does that do? And it really, what it does it is right. reduce the swelling and it's soothing. Thank you so much. Look how gorgeous thank you, thank you, thank you. are, though. They're the Stop. most gorgeous feet right. I've ever seen. All right, we are okay. getting ready to get played. When will this show end? It's never ending. But first, this is today on NBC. I'm staying right here. Oh. This is so